Hey, uh, so I found a little quiet spot over here where I live, and I just want to talk a little bit about um, my my journey so far. So, as you know, you guys, I have been a, a medical hospital corpsman, uh, working as a medic for the Marine Corps. I did that for about six years, and then I got I turned that into an LVN license, and I started working as an LVN for about a better part of a decade. Um, after that, I went back to school, got my first undergraduate bachelor's degree in biochemistry, and then I applied to the nursing program to get my BSN post-bachelor's. I've just finished that. I've got my RN. I'm currently in the nurse practitioner program. And um, yeah, I'm not having the greatest time uh, finding a job that fits me because I not only have to have a good paying job, um, much more higher salary than I had when I was working as an LVN, because um, now I've got I've racked up a lot of debt um, from going to the bachelor's uh, BSN program uh, in nursing, and then also as a grad student, uh, your student loans are subject to about a six percent compounding interest rate. So it's up to me to be able to pay it off immediately, even if I'm not not going to school. You know, so uh, in order to keep the compounding interest from going higher and higher, I need to be able to keep working um, a decently paying job and be able to have enough time to be um, competitive. Um, a lot of my classmates, once we graduated, they went and got their RN jobs over at hospitals, and those are full-time jobs, and now they've found that they don't have really have time to go back to grad school to finish the nurse practitioner program. Um, a couple of them did have babies and a lot of kids, and you know, that's really hard work. Um, lots of love to them, and I'm, I really think that they would be the best mothers. Um, whereas others, just found that um, working a hospital job is very hard. It's not easy. Um, at least I have a little bit of LVN experience, but they dove right into it and they have a lot to learn and they are much, much smarter than me. <laughs> so I know they're going to be excellent nurses, but um, I came into this program knowing that I was going to go straight through the nurse practitioner program and um, I'm not going to stop. So what does that require? Well, that requires me working per diem, which means that I work where I can adjust my schedule, um, which is nice, but if I don't work enough hours, then I don't get enough money. So I need to keep track of that. And then I also have to take um, at least six units in order to be, um, in order to be termed a grad student. And um, that's when you can get more student loans and not have to worry about working so much. However, you must know they have to pay all that back um, once you graduate and are no longer in school. So you need to have six units working as a full time to be a full time grad student, as opposed to like the 17 or 12 units that, that we were doing when we were undergrad or pre licensed pre licensed nurses, because all of us had bachelors and something else. Um, and then you have to score a good grade. You can't have less than a B minus. Um, better to have be in the B plus, A plus area because they know that even though the GPA doesn't really matter as much as long as you get your degree, um, it is still very competitive. In fact, in order for me to get into my assessment class, my advanced assessment class, they want to test us out to make sure that we know actually have to, that we know how to assess a patient and um, if you don't pass with at least a passing grade, like around 85 to 90 percent, then you won't get a seat in the class. And for me, that would be a huge failure because my um, psych mental health nurse practitioner program, the very first cohort is going to start next semester. And if I don't get this prerequisite, this advanced assessment class done before then, then I won't be able to join in with my cohort class. And then I'll have to wait two years to do it again. And that's impossible. Um, so everything's riding on the line, but I try not to think about that. Um, what you do need to know though is that um, I do look at it this way. Grad school is my main job. Um, being a nurse is also of course what I love and it gives me a lot of money but it is hard work and it will creep into my um, student homework time if I don't watch it. Um, and of course I have to have my social time because I've learned that if you try to delete all your social life you're just going to be miserable and score badly on um, the homework. So I need to be able to balance all those things and not exclude my friends. So that's that. Um, anyways, it has, it just hasn't been super easy, you know, like I wish I had a 
applied to jobs before I graduated, like six months before instead of like two months before. I wish I would have taken the NCLEX sooner and passed it sooner. And I wish I didn't fudge up my nursing interviews, but you know what? I'm going to keep trying. Um, I have a job and I have a good paying job, good place to work, uh, dependable and it's not too far. And um, my grades are good. so. You know what, maybe things are going pretty well. <laughs> They're not amazing, you know, but um, this line of work is hard. And if it was hard, if it was easy, everybody would be doing it, you know? So I just figured I'd let you know. Thanks for being in the journey with me. Um, I'll try to keep updating more and more often. Um, and I hope you have any comments for me. Please feel free to comment below. And if you're going through your um, CNA, LVN, RN, RMBSN, nurse practitioner, CRNA, um, uh, midwife, any other kind of medical s achievements and goals that you're trying to get to, PA, MD, DO, whatever, um, I just want you to know that, um, that I encourage you and I support you and you have my gratitude for making our industry one of the best industries to work for. Okay, see you later.